Now let's talk about the other half of text, and that is paragraph text. You're going to use paragraph text anytime you do any desktop publishing, you're creating some signage. Paragraph text is very important. But unlike artistic text, the text itself is not the object that you're working with. We're going to go back and use the same tool, our text tool, found here in the toolbox. But this time, instead of clicking to place a cursor and just begin typing, I'm going to create a container for the text, a paragraph frame. I'm going to click and drag. This container, this paragraph frame, is going to hold text, and it becomes the object that you can affect. I could start typing, but it would take me quite a while to fill this, so I'm going to import some text. I'm going to file, import, and choose the example document that we used earlier. And I'll sure I'll maintain the fonts and formatting. And you'll see how the text flows through that paragraph frame. Now the control handles have changed a little bit. You'll notice these ones are familiar, but at the top and bottom it almost looks like tabs. Window shutters is what it reminds me of. And at the bottom here we have an arrow. If I click on that arrow, I get a specific cursor that's allowing me to flow that text, and it's inviting me to create a new paragraph frame. So I'm going to click and drag another paragraph frame, and it flows the text. The text starts here, you see this tab is empty, it flows down to the bottom of this frame, and then I have this indicator that it's flowing elsewhere, and as well this is indicating it's flowing elsewhere. So let me click on this paragraph frame, and I can see that my text is flowing from here through to here. It's coming in here, and I have even more text to flow. Well, this time, I'm going to create a shape and use that as a paragraph frame. Let me just grab my rectangle tool. I'll create a rectangle, and with the shape tool, I'm going to reshape that object. There we go. So now I have a, a different looking object, a different looking framework. And when I select Flow Text, I can put it inside of this object and it automatically builds a paragraph frame inside of that object. And I have two things at work here. I have my paragraph frame, this dotted box, which never appears in the final printed version. You just see the text. And I have the shape that the text came from. Now, we talked about kerning handles in the artistic text movie. These handles are your kerning handles for your paragraph frame. And if I click and I drag that out, it's going to kern the spacing of my paragraph text here but it only does it from this frame and forward. It doesn't affect anything before that. I can just click and bring that back down. And I can adjust the paragraph frame itself without affecting the contents. The contents simply adjust to fit into the box, whatever size box I give it. So let me just drag that out again. The larger I make it, the more text fits inside of it. And the text itself, as you can see, is just kind of the the contents, the water inside the container. One thing I should point out that has been improved in CorelDRAW 12 is the on-screen resolution of paragraph text. In previous versions, and, and for sure in other applications, when I have large viewing size, like right now I'm viewing at 200%, it's easy to read your paragraph text. If I zoom back out to say 75%, now, most applications and in previous iterations of DRAW, that would be very difficult to read, but the on-screen resolution has been severely improved so that your text stays resolved. It's a good improvement, and it'll make it easier for you to work with your text in DRAW.